All right, this afternoon we have a very special guest, uh, Kevin Parent. Kevin is in South Korea since 1999, but um, two years before you were here because of his, his wedding. He currently works in the Korea Maritime University, and he's soon to be in Toastmasters, the Korea District Governor. Kevin is being a YouTube pie presenter, and he, in his channel, he has several videos on his speeches on Toastmasters and a couple of pipe smoking. Tonight's interview will be around pipe smoking, and Kevin, you have been a pipe smoker since 1987, 1988. Yeah, one of those, one of those sure. two years. I don't remember when I started exactly, okay. but it was, it was one of those two. All right, all right. Thank you very much for coming here. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. And I'll fire away. Okay, the sure. first question that comes to mind is, you've been as a pipe smoker for quite a while, and I would like to know what has changed from the time that you had the first contact with pipe smoking to now. Do you see a change or everything is the same? No, it, it's funny. Uh, it, it changed and then it changed back. Um, when I first started smoking, I was trying all different kinds of tobacco. I was trying everything. Um, originally, I began with aromatics because you know, I'm, I'm, I'm American, so I was, you know, that's something that I, I had experienced before. And then I remember one time trying um, an English blend, and I, I was just shocked by it. I, I thought, oh my god, this is disgusting. And th I mean, I thought that tobacco was actually sour. <laughs> I thought it had actually gone back. I never smelled anything like that. Like, because everything I had before that was, you know, chocolate covered cherry and okay. all the real kind of sweet stuff. And I just, I thought, oh man, I just put that on the shelf for a long time. And then, you know, a month later, I, I tried it again. I thought it, it, it can't be as bad as I remember it being. And it was. <laughs> But you know, eventually I just kept trying it and trying and trying. But eventually I got a taste for it. Mm -hmm. And then um, to answer your question about what's changed, I changed from being someone who was trying all different kinds of blends to someone who picked just a, a, a very few and, and a, a narrow range. I was doing almost entirely English blends with with Lab Kia. Um, Stop smoking aromatics. Never really developed a taste for Virginia because it tasted like cigarettes mm -hmm. to me. Um, and it was only recently, and in fact, because of you, we've talked about that before, that I've, I've changed back to where I'm trying all different kinds mm -hmm. of, of things. Again. I've seen that now. I've seen that you are on the look for new things mm -hmm. in websites, or even there when we visit in Seoul, the only tobacconists that we have here. Yeah. Now, how about the impact of YouTube? Um, there's been an idea that YouTube has help to make a little bit more mainstream the pipe smoking, at least perhaps in, in that niche, let's say. Um, would you, would you, were affected? Were you affected by the YouTube experience? Were you impacted somehow? Uh, I, I can't say I was, except to the extent that all I could think about when I saw some YouTube videos was Man, I wish we had this when I started smoking. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's a lot of instructional videos on there and, and, and stuff like that that I really wish I had. You know, I could have saved my my, my tongue a few <laughs> a few tongue cells. <laughs> <laughs> now, you also are quite active in a pipe smokers forum, mm -hmm. Tap and Puff, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. How would you compare? The experience of the, your virtual experience in terms of YouTube or or a personal person. Uh, like comparing YouTube and that mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. For you. Okay. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of difference other than the fact that you know you see the people, you hear what they sound like, and you get a, a you feel like you know them a little bit better through uh, through YouTube, and the fact that when people talk on YouTube, it tends to be that they tend to say more mm -hmm. than on, on the forum where things tend to be a bit shorter. How about that, the anonymity issues? 
because in YouTube, even if you have a handle name, you have a face in right. your comments, and and it's a although in 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 a in a virtual forum will be permanent as well. It will be very easy for open a new account and have a, a new handle, but in YouTube it will be quite more challenging because your face is there. Right. Um, I have no problem with the anonymity. I I feel that um, I mean I'm, even on Time Puff I use my real name, mm -hmm. and I, actually on any forum I use my real name. Mm -hmm. um, when a lot of people use a, a nickname or something like that, and I tend to feel less close. To them, I think so. I, I I wish everybody would use a name, whether it was their real name or not. Like, okay. Because I wouldn't know, but I, I'd rather touch someone named um, Tom than someone named. Um, I love the Pooks ninety nine dash one. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, in terms of of these uh, virtual um, means that we have to to go out of in the public, both of us. I know that we smoke in public. We walk around our, with our pipes or we sit down in a bar. We are very lucky because in Korea, coffee shops and, and bars are not uh, banned from smoking. Mm, but how yeah, would you. It was a challenge when I went back home to Chicago. Okay. I, I bet, I yes. bet. But how would you envision to have pipe smoking mainstream as we were talking 40, 50 years ago? Well, even when or would you dislike the idea? Because that would be a follow-up question. Would you like to be mainstream? Would you like to go back to everyone, or is common and accept socially acceptable to smoke a pipe, or you wouldn't like to to be on the mainstream trend? Okay, that that, that is a challenging question because um, I know this won't be popular with a lot of YouTube video people, mm -hmm. but I, I kind of do support the fact that the idea of cigarettes being somewhat curtailed in, in, in public. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I sometimes do find it annoying when I'm at a, at a bar someone and, and the cigarette smoke is coming into my eyes and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to justify why cigarette smoke should be curtailed but pipe or cigar would, no. be, would be allowed. Um, I wish there were designated um, what, what, what would be good actually is like if a restaurant or a bar had, you know, a non-smoking section and a luxury smoking section <laughs> for, for pipes and cigars. Yeah, but but what I I have a problem with those things because I like you add the word luxury there because usually it's in a corner, mm -hmm. in a very crappy looking yeah, place, yeah, almost yeah. hidden from anybody else, mm -hmm. which I really dislike. Yeah. That's that's not an experience that I actually enjoy. At least here, I don't know how we'll be in other places. We're closing our own time, so how about if I shoot the last question that I have? And the last question is, I don't know how you manage your budget at your place, but Kevin is a happily married man for 14 years now. And I wonder, how do you manage the acquisition of pipes? Because I've seen you with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pieces of briar and those things are not cheap by any stretch of imagination. So knowing that Kes, Kevin's wife, is not uh, very happy with your hobby, with your pipe collection, and, and the fact you're a pipe smoker, how do you deal with that? How how that comes to peace? Uh, most of my pipes uh, I bought before we were married. Mm -hmm. Most of them. Um, and, and actually not because we got married. Um, when I was... My first job, I was a steel worker, and I, I was making good money, so I bought a lot of pipes at the time, and I, I was single. Um, and then I went back to school, and at that point, I stopped I stopped buying pipes. Um, only recently have I started buying, uh, I, I bought a few. I bought this one when we were in, in Seoul, and I bought a couple when I went, went back home. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not buying a whole lot of pipes these days. A couple here and there, but... Um, but you don't ask for permission. What do you think <laughs> about this pipe? <laughs> no, I don't. Mm, I, I don't. see. I see. I, I understand. I think I will now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it was the right question. We are a little bit over time, and would like to thank you for coming here and, my and deal with my <laughs> my esteemed questions. <laughs> thank you very much, Kevin. Thank you.